Hey guys, welcome back for another video. So today's project is I'm gonna be getting rid of this pile of trash. If you've seen any of my other recent videos, you know I just recently bought this acreage and I've got a, a bunch of stuff that I've been, uh, had a huge pile here that I burned and I've got a bunch of leftover, um, you know, stuff that didn't burn basically. Uh, there's, a, there's a million nails in here. I also have over there a pile, you can see um, the previous owner had taken out some uh, lath and plaster and there's a bunch of plaster with a million nails over there too. So rather than load all this up and bring it to the landfill, what I'm gonna attempt to do, there's a, there's a real low spot here, kind of a natural low spot in the yard. And I'm just gonna take advantage of this low spot and I'm gonna dig this out and uh, dig a little hole here. That way I can just bury that trash over there and I don't have to haul it off. So using the Kubota B2601, you know, there's a lot of times where I swear I think a tractor is is handier than a skid loader, better than a skid loader in a lot of ways. This is not one of them. <laughs> a skid loader would be perfect right now. I could dig this hole out real quick and bury the stuff. But we're gonna give this a shot. Ideally, I'd like to have a nice 60 pound ballast box. By the way, I apologize for the wind. Like 20 mile an hour winds today. Um, ideally, I'd like to have my uh, ballast box on the back here, but uh, I don't have it with me and I need weight on here so I can have traction. So I'm just going to leave the brush hog on the back. It's going to be a little bit of a problem because as I go in and out of the hole, the hole it's going to be it's going to be hitting all the time, but it is what it is. I'll see what I can do with it. And I do have, I wouldn't even attempt to do this if I didn't have a tooth bar on here. That's the, uh, the piranha tooth bar. Uh, just a straight bucket is worthless trying to dig. And this tooth bar is... Um, has a lot of great uses. It's not probably the absolute best for digging in the dirt, but it, it digs a whole lot better than the straight bucket. So we'll give that a shot. So I thought I'd just set up a camera. We're gonna see how this goes. I don't have to get it really deep because like I said, it's um, you won't be able to see on camera, but it's, it's dished out here pretty good. So um, and then I'll, if I don't have enough, from whatever I dig out of here, if it's not enough to backfill over the top, I've got kind of a wet, slough area back here that I'll just dig some dirt out of there and bring it over here and and uh, backfill with that. So anyway, let's see what we can do here.
All right, guys, so there you go. I've got a good solid, probably three feet all the way across, and this will hold more than what I need. So, like I said before, skid loader would definitely make this job a lot easier, but even with a little tractor with some persistence, you can get it done. Uh, definitely the Piranha cutting bar makes all the difference in the world. You'd never be able to do this with a straight blade on a little tractor, but, um, but hey, gets the job done. You make do with the tools that you have.
right, there you go, final product. Apologize again for the wind. I think it's gotten even windier since this morning, but uh, I got that kind of halfway graded out. If that dries out a little bit, I'll, I'll drag it out a little bit better and, and smooth it out, but pile of trash is gone. I got this kind of halfway smoothed in. I'll rake that a little bit with the tractor too when it dries up a little bit. I got rid of that big pile over there. That's where they uh, had been dumping their, their old lath and plaster. That was a mess. I got rid of that in that hole too, so good to go. I've been wanting to get rid of that pile ever since I bought this property and I finally got rid of it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hey, I'd really appreciate it if you do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, leave me a comment down below and we'll see you in the next video.